Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am really excited for today's video. We're going to be doing a try on clothing haul with Misguided. I love doing these videos obviously because I love getting new clothes. Um, so <laughs> trying everything on and showing you guys how I would style everything and how it fits and give you my honest feedback on the clothes. I bought every single piece with my own money, um, it wasn't sent to me or sponsored or anything, they don't know I'm doing this video, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. <laughs> this is the first item that I'm going to show you and it is the green Toronto graphic oversized t-shirt, I got a size 8 um, and the price was $31, but you get 50% off everything off Misguided. So that obviously ended up coming down to $15.50, which is a really good price for a really good shirt. This is my pajama shirt, like I wear it all the time. It just says Toronto 86 on it, and it's this beautiful green color. I'm obsessed with this color. It's probably my favorite color ever. Um, and yeah, it's just oversized. Super big and baggy. I love the whole kind of like drooped drop shoulder look on it. It's just Oh, it's so nice and cuddly. Let's get on to the next item. All right, so this is the second item. It is just a nice sort of pink crop top. It's sort of like a corset look. It's quite short at the back, but then it droops down and it cuts a bit forward at the front. So you can wear this with quite a few things. It is quite low cut with the sort of square neckline, but I find this neckline really flattering. This material looks amazing with flash. So definitely wear it out at night and get pictures with flash. I'll insert a photo over here from where I wore it last weekend. For anyone that is interested, these jeans are from Fashion Nova. I'll include my Fashion Nova try on haul somewhere up here or up here. These shoes are from Boohoo. I'll also include that video in the top corner somewhere as well. So this is called the Sassy X misguided rose satin corset top. I got it in a size six. Yeah, I love it. Let's get on to the next one. <laughs> it is just a really simple sort of cami top, silk satiny material. It's super light and it was very, very cheap. These sort of tops are super easy to dress up and make your outfit go from like looking quite like simple to looking very, very expensive. This is actually the first time I've ever worn a top with spaghetti straps. I thought the postman was coming to the door. Yeah, I'm either like wearing a t-shirt, long sleeve, thicker straps. I've never worn like thin straps for a top before. So it's very different, but always willing to try new things and get out of my comfort zone. It is the white satin v-neck cami top in a size six. I just feel like this top would go with everything. As seeing as it's why it's universal color, it'll it, yeah, it will just suit everything. This is probably how I would style it with just a black leather jacket and the jeans. And then once again, I have the chunky shoes on. I have one more top, and then I'll get onto the dresses and the pair of shoes at the end. So yeah, let's let's move right on. All right, so I lie. I had another top. So this is the second last top. I've actually worn this out already, so I will include a photo of me wearing that and I actually wore it with the same skirt. The top is a bodysuit so it goes all the way down and it has like the little clips at the bottom. The corset top is a little bit more of sort of a darker rosy sort of pink whereas this one is a bit more of a washed out white sort of pink. Oh so this is apparently nude but I would definitely classify this as a pink. I'll show you the back as well. So yeah the back is just like a sort of bandeau. They call this the Nude slinky ruched front bandeau bodysuit in a size six. If you want to make it a bit more cash, you can wear just some normal like sort of white sneakers. They were twelve dollars from Kmart, so get on that steal. And then if you also want to dress it up, just putting on a pair of heels with them will obviously dress it up more for a little bit of a night out. I can't fault anything so far and I feel like I'm not even going to be able to pick a favourite either. Yeah, let's just get onto the last top and then we can do all of the dresses. So this is the lucky last top. It's a black milkmaid sort of style. So it's just got the cupping here with like 
little button details going all the way down. It's got the cute little cuff sleeves in the back. It's got a zipper on the side to help you like get in and out of it, which is super helpful. It's got a really good amount of stretch to it. Um, it's not tight or compressing at all. It's really quite comfortable. It is once again quite low cut, which I should have suspected with the Milkmaid style, but um, that's not usually what I go for, but I am trying to try new things with my outfits, especially going into summer. I thought it would be nice to get a few summery dresses and then a couple nice tops that I can wear in summer. I was really feeling the whole all black outfit, so um, here I go with the black shoes as well. I didn't think you could see the whole outfit with the shoes from over there, so that is why I'm standing this far away. Um, but yeah, I've just got some like nice little sock boot sort of stilettos. I feel like you can't go wrong if you're just wearing all black. These are the shoes that I dance in, so love them. So this top is the black button front milkmaid crop top in a size 6. And yes, this is the last top, so let's just get on to all the dresses now. So this is the first dress. It is, I think you'd count this as a midi dress. I'm not too sure how I feel about the whole fall of it. I kind of want to cinch it in a little bit, but I don't know if putting a belt with it would make it look like tacky. The whole color material and design of the dress is really, really nice. Um, it's just the way that it falls on my shape. I feel like it could potentially make everyone sort of look like a rectangle. So yeah, just you just need to sort of tack it in at the side a little bit. This dress is the petite blush satin cow neck midi dress in a size six. One thing to mention as well is that there are adjustable straps on both sides. So you could release this if you wanted it to sit a bit lower, like the whole cow neck. Let's go on to dress number two. So this is dress number two. It is a black sort of ruched all up the side dress one shoulder obviously i think it's really flattering you can like obviously wear it a bit longer if you want as well here is where it's sitting comfortably on me this is the black slinky one shoulder ruched bodycon mini dress in a size eight i'm not sure if there was a size six available or if i just did decide to get an eight i'm not too sure not too sure what happened there i'd probably once again pair it with these sock boots or like even more of a strappy stiletto. Fun fact is that this is actually my first ever black dress. Like actually never owned a black dress. So this is exciting. Material is amazing. It is so nice and soft, super, super stretchy. Like so stretchy. Let's get on to the last dress. This is the last dress and I really, really wanted to love it and I thought I would but there's a few things that are sort of letting me down. So number one is that the straps are not adjustable on this dress and I, so where it wants to sit is down here. And down here, like it still looks okay, but it's not the, unless this was the neckline it was meant to be, I don't know. So I'll stand here and I'll put a photo of what the model looks like with it on. So that is where it's comfortably sitting on me. I'm not sure if the neckline was meant to sit like this. I was sort of under the impression that it was going to be like a cow neck like the pink one. When I try and like lift it up, it doesn't, it doesn't want to fall like a cow neck. And so where I would like want it to sit is like here. So I have like a bit of excess strap. I just thought it was going to be adjustable straps. Like I probably just didn't look at the dress right or something. I'm not really sure. This one's called the Blue Satin Strappy Cow Neck Shift Dress. So it does say cow neck, but like this, that's not cow neck. So I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. But anyway, I got it in a size six and the rest of it fits fine. Like I love the shape of it. Like it's actually giving me shape. My last thing I want to show you guys is a pair of shoes I got. I told myself months ago that I would never get clear heels, but here I am. They have a thicker heel. It's quite like wide, which is going to be really good for walking. I think they'll be quite comfortable because they're not like overly high. I don't think I tied these right because they sort of feel 
a bit loose, like they're falling off my foot. Anyway, leave that to me. I'll work out how to actually tie them. But this is just what they look like on. I'm not sure if I love them or hate them. So these are the nude square toe clear heels. I wear a size 7, which is a 38 European. So that is it for the entire misguided try on haul. Let me know what your favorite item was down below because I, I seriously can't decide. Like I couldn't pick a favorite. Let me know if you liked the video. Give me ideas of what sort of content you want to see. I love you all. Reach out to me if you ever need someone to talk to. And if you got this far through the video, I am so impressed. Have a beautiful day. I will see you in my next video.